If you haven't played the new Fortnite season, then you should know that Doctor Doom has returned. And he is by far the most powerful villain that has ever been in this game. And he has actually defeated many of the strongest Marvel superheroes and villains in the MCU. And we're going through his new drop spot, Castle Doom, to see them all. First, we have Silver Surfer, of all people, the Power Cosmic. And I'm going to show you something a bit later that makes this even less impressive. Of course, we have Marauder Magneto. He lasted all of one season. For the amount that those Magneto gauntlets pissed people off, it's kind of funny that he's already out of the game. We have this beautiful, just gorgeous painting of Doctor Doom standing upon its fallen enemies, including Thanos, Marauder Magneto, Thor's Hammer, Doctor Strange. We even have Ultron and Iron Man here. A bit more lore related to the comic books. We have Doctor Doom riding a freaking bear. This is actually from a comic. I'll put that on the screen right now. Right here, we have Thanos' helmet. And I mean, Thanos is pretty powerful, but if he doesn't have the Infinity Gauntlet, yeah, he could probably get defeated by Doctor Doom quite easily. And my theory right now is that Doctor Doom has come from another universe entirely. Well, another Fortnite universe, since Marvel is an official part of the Fortnite universe. And he just won. He won in his universe. He's got the power cosmic. He's got infinity stones. He's got everything he'll ever need to conquer multiple universes. And that's what Captain Jonesy and another few characters are trying to prevent in this season. In his personal quarters, wow, he really hates Reed Richards, doesn't he? You know, I can't, uh, I can't argue with that. He's got a brewing room as well. He's practicing some sort of magic. Look at this. I think this might be related to the zero point butterflies, possibly, but we have Pandora's box confirmed. That is what Dr. Doom is trying to get his hands on right now. Namor's horn, AKA Aquaman 2.0. Now I wanted to save this for last, but the storm is about to take him, so. One of the biggest things we have is Doctor Doom sitting on a throne of the thing. Look at that. Absolutely brutal. One of the most metal things I've ever seen in this game. And he hits hard. Make no mistake. I really should have put on shield before coming in here. We also get a look at Ultron's helmet. Or I guess just Ultron's head because Ultron's an AI, huh? He's probably still alive in there. Let's be real. I've taken the throne from you. What are you going to do about it, huh? Huh? Nothing. Oh my god, no! He's gonna do something! Ah! Oh. Why? Why must he be so aggro? We're the same. We are kin. We should be friends. We should be taking over this world together. Over on the other side, now that we've lost him, we have Doctor Strange's amulet. Though Doctor Strange has many magical items, he himself is not that magical, though he knows stuff. So I'd consider that thoroughly defeated. Oh, you're tussling with the muscle boy. Doom doesn't want to be friends and we can be enemies. I didn't expect him to leap at me like that. I got a med kit and I'm feeling brave. Yes, and you'll notice too, if you didn't notice by the health bar, that this is a Doom bot. It is not actually Dr. Doom himself. The power of Doctor Doom right now is such that we just would not be able to defeat him. It just isn't happening. Wow, why are they all just fighting each other now? That's that's wild. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we got caught in the storm, but I did get my vengeance on Doctor Doom. I'm going to go to another game, and I'm going to show you a couple more Easter eggs that are here in Doom's Castle. We're back in Doom's Castle, and I actually missed this when I was running past. He has the Human Torch's heart heating up his little personal space. That's actually crazy. Doctor Doom is brutal. This was the same building with Reed Richards' head, by the way. And Reed Richards is here at Doom's Castle. We're gonna go find him right now. And here we have Mr. Fantastic in quite a predicament. And he's alive too. Look at that. He is a hundred percent still alive. But I don't I don't know what's gonna happen if I break this. He just disappears. Oh no, Doc! No, what did I do? I guess that is the LARP, right? I am Doctor Doom after all. 
my mortal nemesis finally vanquished. I didn't notice that he was in the same room as the original trophies, by the way, just in the back hall, so you can check this out yourself. I didn't catch this because the storm got her, that's why. Sue Storm, the invisible woman. Is she even in there? Is she even alive? We don't even know right now. Because of magic, he could have him in a state of suspended animation. You know, some of them look definitively destroyed. Like Ultron, I don't know if he'll come back from that. But there are reasons that some of these people that he's defeated could still survive. Thing, though, <laughs> I think there's a reason Thing isn't in the battle pass right now. The final hero trophy in Doom Castle is actually an interesting one, Moon Knight. Now, in the MCU, Moon Knight was played by a pretty notable actor, so... I imagine they will want to bring him back to the show. I think there is a Moon Knight Season 2 confirmed, but in the realm of Doctor Doom, when we're talking about high technology combined with magic, characters like Doctor Strange, Moon Knight, Ultron, Iron Man, of course, they are going to matter a lot. And they have confirmed Robert Downey Jr. to play Doctor Doom, but there's no reason he can't appear out of the multiverse as Iron Man once again. I definitely expect it to happen. Actually, there's something I almost missed. If we go over to the stack that is a little bit south, we will find a forge, or rather an anvil. And it has a bit of a sigil on it. And I've seen some theories that show that this could be Mephisto. And if this is Mephisto, this could tie into this year's Fort Nightmares event because the current Marvel season is going to run over Halloween. It's going to go until November 2nd. So that is something to consider. I'm definitely a big believer in that. Let me put it this way. It would be much more fun if that did happen. Now here's a bit of an Easter egg I found at the raft. There's a door. And if you click on this, obviously I was captured on purpose. This stuff doesn't happen to me on accident. I'm here to collect intel, plus this is the best camping spot on the island. Deliver it to Gwenpool. So you do get a quest from here. This is Gwenpool in this door right now. So though you can play her in lore of game, she is stuck. Well, that was easy. Let's get this back over to Gwenpool. I'll scrape the data and see what I can find, check back later. But don't give away my sniping spot, I'm trying to rank up to Unreal! Bro, Gwenpool's Unreal. Hilarious character, I love Gwenpool, dude. One of the best thing modern Marvel's ever created. Another little easter egg that I actually haven't seen this poster anywhere else. Mouse Tooth. That's kind of hard to pronounce, I always have a hard time pronouncing the Meow names. Mouse Tooth. It's the Sabretooth collab. Of course, they allow no dancing on the raft. I highly disagree, sir. You better check yourself. This zone encourages dancing. I guess he's gonna let it slide because I'm in a pretty OG skin. And speaking of Meowstooth, he actually has a cage right here by Emma Frost. In a big old ball of yarn. Oh, that's adorable. Look at him. And when we're looking in her throne room, Emma Frost herself has a statue. Wow. She really doesn't care if she ruins her statue, does she? Emma Frost is a bit hard because when she's in her diamond form, she, uh, she won't take damage unless you hit her in the middle of the circle, which breaks her diamond form, and then you can just tag her up. Ah, she turned off her diamond, which really helped us. Now I'm just committed to defeating Emma Frost. Nice. Now it's only right that I defeat Mysterio since I defeated the other two bosses, and I'm actually gonna give you a bit of a tip for defeating this guy. Because he can be a bit difficult, but you'll notice that he doesn't actually teleport. He convinces you that he's teleporting. He does what he normally does, which is trick you. But in reality, he's in exactly the same spot. And I've found that just standing there and pickaxing him is the easiest way to defeat him. It's like almost impossible for him to hit those shots on you. Nice. 
Captain America's shield coming in clutch right there. Yeah, so Mysterio, he tries to bait you out, but it's all trickery. It's all trickery, just typical to the to the character itself. And I really like that. It's the little details that make this season incredible. So if we watch the screens, they're actually telling a story here. And so there was a protest, and then Doctor Doom brought them treats. He brought them delicious ice creams. Well, ice cream and billy clubs. And then suddenly, they didn't want to protest so much anymore. We got a pretzel shop named Doom's Domain, which is actually the name of Doom's Drop from Chapter 2. Now if you come to the northernmost house of Doomstadt, you'll see a Iron Man helmet above the door. And actually, if you go down into the basement, you'll see a little Iron Man fanboy thing. Fan room. Look at this. Oh, he even has old gen suits. Suits he made himself. Look, his cosplays. Inaugural meeting of the Tony Stark fan club. Arc reactor. Discuss theories. Plan to defeat Doom or something? Huh. Huh. So whoever this basement belongs to, maybe it was Gwenpool. Maybe this is where Gwenpool was staying before she got locked up on the raft. And on the TV, we actually have some Marvel vs. Capcom. Wow. Wow, that is just amazing. A bit north of Rebel's Roost, we have some equipment that belongs to Doctor Doom. And they're actually digging a hole to something. We have a bit of pottery here. Theories on what this could be, guys, in the comments. There's also another dig site to the east of Doomstadt. So I think it's safe to say they are searching for something in specific. Probably related to Pandora's box. Most likely some sort of key to actually open the darn thing. And I definitely have to mention the Fantastic Four Fallen logo from the Baxter building. Right to the south of Doomstadt. Kind of just standing here as a quiet reminder of the power of Victor Von Doom. And the final Easter egg I want to leave you all with, if you somehow haven't seen it while you were dropping into the map, the skeleton of Galactus, or the armor, who knows, man. He has just been completely obliterated by Doctor Doom. And this just demonstrates that Doctor Doom is a power level above what happened in Chapter 2. The Nexus War stuff, small peanuts. Now my personal theory on this I will discuss further in another video and I recommend you subscribe but basically it comes down to Gwenpool, Deadpool, Loki, She-Hulk. These characters have fourth wall breaking abilities and that is going to tie into us going into the chapter 2 OG season and eventually Fortnite Chapter 6. And in Fortnite Chapter 6, we're going to see so much Disney stuff because Disney has tripled, quadrupled down on these crossovers in Fortnite. And I will be documenting it all. So, of course, subscribe, like, code Sahar in the Fortnite item shop, and comment, of course, what your favorite skin of this season is. Because, in my opinion, this is an amazing battle pass. This is an amazing season. And I'm going to be playing it quite a bit.